Traveler, it's your boy, a level 26 dark mage, and I am 40 levels away from being able to use lunar magics. And once I achieve this milestone, once I achieve this glorious tool of destruction, none shall stand in my way. The whole beer community will flee at the mere sight of me. There will be no survivors. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a Q and A today. Oh, world domination that that comes next, but uh, this this comes first. Okay, we got we got a lot of great questions uh, coming in, so let's uh, let's take a look at them. Okay, let's uh, let's go. So the first question I figured I would read so you don't feel so clickbaited by the title, and it comes from a Mr. Rusty Shackleford, and he says, "Just shave already." And of course, my visceral response was never. Never shall I shave my facial hair. And then I started thinking, what if I do? What if I shave off my beard at the end of my years? If I reach a certain milestone of subscribers, let's say 20,000. And on top of that, what, what, what if I, it's gonna be hard to do, don't get me wrong, but what if I even went even more over the top than I did uh, on that, that first time I shaved off my beard, which was, which was at my wedding, and I surprised my wife that didn't know who, that I was doing it, and I surprised an entire wedding party as well. What if I did that? Would that be interesting to you guys? If so, then subscribe immediately. Guys, because if we can get to 20,000 subscribers at the end of this year, then I will do that, and I will put on a show, so uh, think about that. So the second question comes from a Mr. Jacob Phelps. Congrats for the subscribers, Dark Mage. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Phelps. Um, what, what about side effects of minoxidil, like dry skin, skin scales, and shitting on a long beard? How do you deal with them? Uh, he has a second part to the question. Maybe I'll get back to that second part another day, but I'm going to focus on that for now. Right, so, yes, uh, when, you, when you're growing out your beard as you're applying minoxidil, there's a lot of dry skin, uh, there's a lot of scaliness, uh, and, and it's very, very annoying. I managed to deal with it, uh, but, you know, how did I deal with them? Well, I didn't deal with it properly. Like, simply, you cannot keep your skin as healthy uh, while you're growing out your beard with minoxidil as, uh, as if you were to keep it on a short stubble. So, for the large majority of people, I would recommend you not to grow out your beard as you're using minoxidil. Keep shaving it down uh, and take care of your beard by derma rolling, uh, you know, applying beard oil, applying moisturizer and stuff like that. That's going to be your best bet. But if you want my guidelines for how to, you know, um, at what point should you start growing out your beard while applying minoxidil? I, I made a video on this a little while back, probably my most requested video to date, and uh, it's doing pretty well too, so uh, go check that out. But what I did is, uh, to, to kind of minimize the flakes, is, uh, well, the, okay, on the first day, what I would do is I would apply minoxidil after about four hours of being awake. You know, I would, I would go to the shower, I'd style my beard, put in some beard oil, keep my skin nice and healthy, then I'd apply minoxidil while I was at work for the most, usually, you know, I'd go to the bathroom and just apply it. And then I would uh, uh, wait 12 hours, and then I, I would apply it again, uh, you know, like around the time that I went to bed. Uh, but then on the second day, I would apply it as soon as I woke up, right? Um, like, a, like as soon as you possibly can. And then wait 12 hours, apply it again, uh, and that should allow for a four-hour leeway until from then and when you go to sleep. So uh, at the end of that four hours, get some lotion, you know, uh, squirt it into your hand, get it right up into the beard and down to the skin, right? So that's, um, that's just kinda, kinda moisturize your skins and, and uh, it really, really did help me with the, with the dry flakes. And then again, uh, you know, you're not gonna be able to keep your skin as healthy as you possibly can, but you know, it's better than nothing. So that's what I did. So hopefully that helps you out. Our third question comes from a Mr. Andares Botia. 
And that is one healthy looking beard you got there, my brother. Well done in reaching 1K. Well, Mr. Botilla. Thank you. Uh, his question is, you seem like a well-rounded individual. Are you an avid reader? And if so, what material inspires you? Well, not really. I'm not really an avid reader at all, really. Uh, however, I'm pretty much listening to podcasts constantly. Uh, I, I, I'm a very chaotic mind. And unfortunately, in order for me to sit down and read something and not do anything else, uh, I have to really, really uh, like what I'm reading. But if I'm listening to something and it's just uh, in the background while I'm doing other things, then I'm, hey, I'm all, I'm all over that. That's why I love podcasts. And, uh, you know, I listen to a lot of psychology podcasts, a lot of philosophy podcasts. I'm pretty much, uh, like, obsessed with why people do and say the things that they do. Or, uh, you know, just uh, uh, understanding human behavior. It's an uh, absolutely fascinating concept to me. And uh, um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll pursue some sort of uh, form of uh, study in that area. Who knows? Next question comes from a, from a Mr. Jar Fermented Seaman. He goes, Mr. Stash, are you singing in Lithuanian? <laughs> Classic Lithuanians with their crazy profile names. Um, yes, I am indeed singing Lithuanian in that intro, you know, the uh, one that goes, That one. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a cover of an old Lithuanian folk song called Shimtu uh, Kartu. And uh, the, the rendition I'm doing is I'm kind of playing off of the uh, the Ugnavius uh, version, which I will link uh, up here. They are amazing guys. Uh, they are one of my favorite Lithuanian folk song bands. Uh, I, I highly check. I, I highly suggest you check them out. And if you want to see uh, my Lithuanian folk songs that I'm going to be recording, uh, go subscribe to my channel, Urban Hazard Music. Um, I love Lithuanian folk songs, guys. And uh, actually, my grandfather was a Lithuanian folk song uh, master, as you may. Uh, he um, uh, he revived many Lithuanian folk songs. And uh, while they were banned within the Soviet Union, so uh, it, it's a very strong history within my family. So uh, if you guys want to see a little more of that, so I'll probably even revive some of his songs. So go check it out. Go check out my channel, Urban Hazar Music. Our last question comes from a Mr. Kamadon Nabrushi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, Okay, oh, and I have a question. He, he posted a really nice, uh, wonderful comment uh, before this one. So this, this was his second one. Uh, he was basically just congratulating me on a, a thousand subs and stuff. So thank you, man. Um, what are your suggested forums and chat rooms? So I could talk to people that are going through the same minoxidil journey and people that have already gone through it uh, for help and questions and stuff. And how do I join? Uh, what do you suggest? So uh, for support for your minoxidil journey, I will always, 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 always recommend the Minox Beard Spot on Facebook. They are hands down the best group, and they, they're the group that I shared all my progress photos with throughout almost all of my uh, all of my uh, Minoxidil journey. Um, but I wish I had found them earlier because uh, it, it's just such a wonderful place to be. Uh, I think they're they're at fifty thousand uh, members right now, so that's incredible. So. Enjoy the Minox Beard Spot. Uh, secondly, there's my group, Beards, Barbells, and Banner. We're not, uh, you know, we, we don't have as many members, and uh, so, you know, you, you might not get as many likes and responses on your, on your, uh, you know, uh, progress pictures and stuff like that, but hey, you know, we're still a group, great, you know, still a great group of guys. I will, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna be able to talk with me directly, so hey, ain't that pretty fucking cool. <laughs> and we're just a great group of guys all together so join our group as well uh and i think uh, as well the beard profile uh forums as well uh, it's not on facebook but uh, just type in beard beard profile forums i believe uh that they do uh, minox support as well so uh go check them out all right guys thank you so much for joining me tonight i really really enjoyed uh, answering these questions like i actually really have a fun time doing them so uh please drop some more questions down into the uh comment section so i can do another q a uh because i i really enjoy doing them uh and more importantly start putting down some methods if i were to shave off my beard entirely if i reach that milestone of twenty thousand subscribers 
how would I do it? You know, what crazy bullshit do you guys want me to do to get this hair off my face uh, if we reach that milestone? Let me know in the, in the comments. Or, if, of, of course, if you're totally against the idea, then uh, vocalize that as well. I want to hear that. So, uh, Bearded Warriors of Earth, have a wonderful night. Please like, share, subscribe, and just have the best possible night you could possibly have, guys. I, I seriously love you guys. Cheers.